Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's read this again. Micah 7 and verse 9 again. I will bear the indignation of the Mori Habashin Yashai because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause. All right. So we're going to have to suffer. We got to suffer the elements. We got to suffer the things that are two thirds of our people, man, until he plead our cause, man, which is not going to be long, man. All right. He's coming back to plead our cause. He's coming back to rescue the elect, man. Lord willing, we'll part that number and execute judgment for me. All right. So the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahshai, he's going to execute judgment for the elect, man. Like it says, wait ye upon me to the day that I rise up to the prey. All right. Zeph Zephaniah 3 and verse 8. All right. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to read verse 10 later. I'm going to come back to that. But, hey, two-thirds of our own people, they don't want to listen to us. All right? This is Jeremiah 35, verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up betimes and sending them. No, Slavia. Rising up early and sending them Slavia. Saying, return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings. And that's what we're telling you, Israelites, man. Repent before it's too late, okay? Time is short, man, all right? The time and the days are getting shorter, okay? Matthew 24 and verse 22 says that the days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. So time is short. Days are getting shorter, okay? All right? Uh, let's start over again. Jeremiah 35 verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now from return ye now every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. Alright? Not going after these other false gods, serving them. Serving these pagan holidays, man, Valentine's Day, Christmas, and all this other shit that's coming. You got, after, well, basically it's already over with. So now you got this other holidays coming, Easter. I don't know when that is, but I don't care no way. So anyway, all these pagan holidays, can't wait till that shit is over with. Sick of these holidays, man. All right, sick of this shit. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened it unto me. All right? And hey, with the mouthpiece of the Lord Yahweh Yahshai. You think the Lord Yahweh Yahshai is going to come down with a bullhorn and tell you ask to repent? No. He's using his man that he set up to tell you to repent and come back to the heavenly father Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, let's see. All right. So now it's time to seek the Lord, man, before it's too late. Okay. This is Second Chronicles 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh, Shehashai, power of Israel, should be put to death, rather small or great, whether man or woman. So if you don't... So if you ain't trying to seek the Lord Yahweh Bashi Yahshai, man, you're gonna be put to death. Okay? Judgment. Alright. Let's get this. Can I find that again? Yeah, here it is. Overlooking it. <laughs> Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh Bashi Yahshai while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Now it's time to be repentant. Calling on the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shire. Repent, man. Changing your ways. Okay? Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh Shire. He will have mercy upon him, and to our power, and to our power he will abundantly pardon. Okay? So, hey, if you seek the Lord, man, you're going to be saved, man. But if you don't, Gonna be destroyed. Let's go back to that scripture. All right. Second Chronicles fifteen verse thirteen again. That whosoever would not seek the glory, how about Shinyashai, the power of Israel, should be put to death, 
whether small or great, whether man or woman. And we read that in Proverbs 13, 13, that whoso despise the word, all right, shall be put to death, man. You're going to be destroyed. So, okay, all right. Let's see what else we got. Yep. Baruch 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh. And this book is the Bible, man. Okay? All right? And the law that endureth forever, all that, all they, they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die, man. Okay? All right? If you don't hate, if you don't turn from your wicked ways and start following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, you about to see your shine, you're going to die, man, point blank, period. Okay? All right? And this is a warning. A warning you Israelites, man. Seek the Lord now. All right? Let's get this. All right? Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no terror in the turn to the Lord Yah about Shion Shai. Putting not off from day to day. You can't be putting the Lord off day to day, man. Okay? The Lord is not on your time. Okay? Alright? <laughs> hey, you on the Lord's time. Not on his. Okay? So hey, turn from your wicked ways, man. The Lord is not on our time. Alright? Hey, time is moving fast, and you see things are moving rapidly fast, man. The days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. So that goes to show you that, hey, the Lord is not waiting on you. He ain't going to wait on you to repent. The Lord is going to do things whether you repent or not. Prophecies is going to happen whether you repent or not, okay? You're going to be wishing you did repent when all hell is breaking loose out here. And, hey, you people... And two-thirds of your Israelites don't know where to turn to. You're going to be looking for this word. You're going to be looking for the man of the Lord. And you're going to be wondering where to turn to. You ain't going to have nowhere to turn to. Okay? And that's why I'm reading this. All right? Ecclesiastes of Sirach, chapter 5, and verse 7. And it reads, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, putting out all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh Bashin Yahshai come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? All right? So, hey, make no tearing to turn to the Lord Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, man. Time is not on your side. Okay? You ain't got time left, all right? The days are speeding up for the elect's sake, man, okay? All right? <clears throat> but two-thirds of our people ain't going to do that. They don't consider, man, all right? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel do not know. My people do not consider, Two-thirds of our people don't consider this word. They don't consider their heritage. They continue to call themselves black, African-American, talking about some black history month and all of that. No, man. It should be Israelite history month, not black history month. All right? We're not black, man. We're Israelites. Your skin is brown, completely brown, man. So why you Israelites are still claiming to that blackness? I'm black and I'm proud and all that shit. No, man. I don't claim to that shit no more. Hell. And as you can clearly see, my skin is brown. Why in the hell would I want to call myself a damn color that's this? Alright? My skin tone don't match the color of this. Alright? And you Israelites need to break away from calling yourselves black, man. Okay? Seriously. Alright? <clears throat> That's two thirds, though. <laughs> and that's why two thirds of the years of life are going to be destroyed, man. <clears throat> this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord Yahabashi Yahshai, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Two thirds of years of life, you trust in this wicked ass society. You trust in Babylon, the great America, man. All right. 
Verse 3, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Okay, all right. Trusting in modern day Pharaoh, which is Esau Enum, excuse me, is going to be your shame. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, which is Babylon, Great America, is going to become your confusion, man. Okay, all right. Two thirds of our people don't listen to us, no way. All right, this is Sirach or Ecclesiastes 13, verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. Say, they have sold it to the clouds. All right, when a rich man, when a pastor with a suit and tie begins to talk and speak, what they do, they hold their peace, man. All right, they hold their peace and they listen to what he got to say. All right. But us men <laughs> that's prophesying on the highways and byways and, you know, they like, whoa, 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 who, who is this guy? Which means, wants to bring me to this next uh, line right here. But if the poor man speak, we're the poor, all right? We're the poor in this society, all right? What they say? They say, what fellow is this? Yeah. They say, well, who's this guy? Who's this guy just screaming? He All he done just reading the Bible. He just screaming at the top of his lung. Who is this guy? Who who you think he is? Who is he to tell me I'm wicked and tell me that I need to repent? Yeah, that's two thirds of you Israelites, man. Okay, that's two thirds, man. And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Yeah, two thirds of our own people they gonna turn on us. Even our family members gonna turn on us when that time comes, man. Yeah, when Esau rolls in on us, man, right, accusing us of being terrorists and shit like that, yeah, don't be surprised. Your family members going to turn on you, bro. Oh, yeah, they are. They going to turn on you. Don't be surprised when it happens. You and your own friends going to turn your ass in, man. Your wife is going to turn you in. Don't be surprised by that because, hey, they wasn't with you to begin with, no way. All right? Your best thing is not to even have a wife or a woman in this truth. You know, woman, you know, why are you preaching this truth? Because one, woman is a distraction anyway. All right? For most part. All right? If you got a woman that's sticking by you, all right? Through thick and thin, sticking by you when you're in this truth, hey, you lucky, man. Consider yourself blessed. All right? A lot of men, a lot of men are catching hell from their wives, man. All right? <laughs> all right? From the recent thing that I just heard, all right, basically. All right? But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to spill that. But a lot of these men that do have wives, they are catching hell from their wives, man. And hey, to you women out there that's getting your man hell, Lord's going to destroy you, point blank, period, man. All right? So if I was you, I'd repent from that, all right? And stop giving your husband your man hell, man. Because that's going to come back to bite you in the ass, literally, okay? All right? But a lot of men, all right, don't have wives, man. And I think that's the best way to go. I don't have a wife. I can wait. Hey, I've been waiting this long. I can wait. Hell, the Lord, how about she out shot going to send a bunch of women my way. Isaiah 4 and 1, man. All right? Hey, and hey, the Lord, how about she is going to put the spirit on me to discern who is righteous and who is not. All right? So, hey, when, ain't, when that time does come, you ain't worried about it, man. Okay? So, I can wait. Many brothers can, many brothers have waited. We can wait this long because these modern day women, these modern day women ain't going to act right, man. You see how they are? Look at what has poisoned them, man. <clears throat> it's going to lead me to this next scripture, and I'm going to close it out. But let me speak a little bit first, all right, before I read the scripture. Hold on. Let me get comfortable snogging. A lot of these modern-day women, man, they've been poisoned by feminism. They've been poisoned by the so-called white man, Esau Edom. All right? They didn't kick the man out of the house, etc. All right? So... You trying to find a, a wife in this day and age, 
Yo, I'm talking to you brothers, man. It ain't gonna work. Because these modern day women don't know how to fucking act. They really don't. They've been poisoned by a lot of men semen. Done had a lot of men done ran through them. And now they all, all bugged out and all messed up. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Excuse me. Slop you. Alright. Man. Man, I tell you. Hold on. Let me get a drink of water right quick, man. Alright. I'm just telling the truth, man. Alright. Just telling the truth, man. <laughs> and these women are crazy as hell, man. Your best is best out is to just leave them a fuck alone, man. Leave these women alone, man. Just leave them alone. Especially the Negro woman, man. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's let's read this last scripture. I'm gonna close it out, man. <clears throat> because hey. These women ain't going these women don't know how to act, man. They really don't. Alright. But hey, if you got a woman that's, you know, listening to you and obeying you, hey man, consider yourself blessed, man. Alright? A lot of men ain't blessed, alright? Alright, in that way. A lot of men got wise, but they wise ain't really with them. I'm just telling the truth, man. Alright? And this is what leads to this next scripture right here. And I'm going to close it out. This is Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall sin and shame shall cover her. Which say unto me, where is the Lord how of thy power? Yeah. A lot of these women, they say that, man. Where, where is your God at? Where you, you, you reading out of that Bible every day? And there ain't nothing happening? And all of this? Yeah, okay. My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And if you isn't like women that got isn't like husbands that preaching and teaching this truth, y'all don't repent. You're going to be trodden down like the mire of the streets, man. Point blank, period. Okay? So you better repent before it's too late. All right? Because the Lord, how about she on shot? He is not playing. With two thirds of years and like women, he darn sure ain't playing with two thirds of years and like men. And as a matter of fact, let me close out with this. All right, because the time is coming, man, when judgment is about to begin. It's already beginning. All right, but it's about to ramp up. Okay, Zechariah chapter thirteen verse eight, and it shall come to pass that in all the land said the Lord Yah Bashiach Shai. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call upon my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power, man. Okay, so hey, the Lord Yahweh is not playing with two thirds of years of nights anymore, man. Okay? So you better repent before it's too late. Okay. So I'm gonna end the lesson here, man. This is a great closing point right here. Alright. I pray this lesson is edifying. All praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakadash. Double nods to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who talking is true. And double side test tell you all came the men that are prophesying and name throughout the phone one to this earth, pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. See you with another lesson soon, little woman. Kwam Yasharala Shalom. Wa Baba Ba Ba the Wam. DTA Destruction of Babylon of Great America. And like my brother Gabar Dum would say, Boom! Destruction of this wicked ass place, man. We ready to get the fuck out of here, man. I'm sick of this place. I'm ready to go home, man. Alright. Till next time I say Shalom. So long.